What's up everyone, this is Ingram, I'm one of the Minecrafters, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up Sfax Pure BDCraft for a Technic SSP, so that we can get Technic SSP fully textured with all the awesomeness that Sfax's textures provide. What we're going to do is over here, if you go to themindcrafters.com, in the What We Use section, there's a link for Sfax Pure BDCraft plus Technic SSP, and that'll bring us to this full-fledged tutorial page which if I go too fast in this video you guys can come back to and it'll give you step by step exactly what I'm doing here. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to download two different files. One of them is the base texture pack and we're going to go ahead and grab that for Minecraft version 1.2.5. I'm going to run it at 128x resolution but there is also a 64, 32 and even 16x um, resolution support now for this, for this mod pack. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that and start downloading that. And then the other thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to download the patch files. Now I'm going to download 7.2. That's the current uh, version that I'm running of Technic SSP. And again, you want to grab the exact same resolution. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the 128x resolution from this site. So once the files are done downloading, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to open up the base Sfax Pure BDCraft Texture Pack folder. And we're going to put that one on the left. And then we're going to take Technic the uh, patch files and we're going to put those on the right and what we're going to do here is pretty easy we're going to grab all of the Technic SSP uh, patch files and we're just going to drag those into the base and when WinRAR or WinZip or 7-Zip or whatever you're using gives you the option your update mode you want to set to add and replace files that's the default on WinRAR just hit OK and what it'll do is it'll merge them all into one uh, texture pack zip file so we're going to get rid of this guy we don't need him anymore Then we're going to take the base which has been modified and rename it to indicate that it has been modified to include Technic SSP. Now that we've created our patched Sfax Pure BDCraft folder, or zip file rather, what we're going to need to do is we're going to take that and we're going to put it in Minecraft so that Minecraft can load it. Now there's two different ways to do that. You can actually go into Minecraft and use the texture pack button and then do the open texture pack folder button and that will get you there. If for some reason that doesn't work, you can go to your C drive your user file, app data, roaming, grab the Technic Launcher folder, go ahead and grab the Technic SSP, and inside there is a texture packs folder. Now all we're gonna do is very simple. Take that zip file we just created and drag and drop it right in there. You'll notice Minecraft behind here has already loaded that up. It should look exactly like this. If it looks like the default and says the default look of Minecraft, then you've done something wrong and you're gonna have to start over. Once you've got that all loaded up and it looks just right click done and it'll take a while but it'll load all of those texture files into minecraft so here we go our world is finally loaded and everything is all textured up with Sfax's textures and the texture pack support for Technic SSP you guys should be all set at this point if you have any questions or comments or concerns or nothing seems to work or you are having any trouble at all with anything uh, let us know in the comments or on the blog at themindcrafters.com. And if there's anything that you'd like to see us do, show you how to do, build, uh, challenge us with the machine design, anything at all, we'd love to hear it. And we'd love to be challenged. So make sure to hit us up. As always, thanks for watching and stay poised.